Hi, welcome to Planet Mojo. I'm going to try to get this starter, seedling starter bench started today. Well, pretty much finished. Where's my drawings? I got drawings over here. All this really is is something I printed up this morning that tells me how things are spaced. I have some sawhorse brackets over there and that's pretty much all it takes just screwing this stuff together okay what i have is simpson strong tie these are kind of nice because they're inch and a half long so they're they're not going to come poking out the other side, and they're tough screws with heavy galvanizing on them, and they work with treated wood. These also work with treated wood, and these are going to hold the top slats onto the saw books. So, just a bit of screws. I need to put everything in the right place, these top slats are what's going to keep it square it needs to wind up four feet by four feet pretty close what goes on top of here is a half of a sheet of two inch thick styrofoam which is the tabletop and then the, the heated seedling mats are going to go on top of that so let's get this assembled Probably time to go in the house for you, huh? Almost that time for me too, kitty. Got a little angle on there, 15 degrees. So I gotta put that in the right way. Treated lumber is a little bit fat until it dries out all the way. Uh, I'm gonna run and get some different screws for this. The Shorter Simpson screws are for right here to attach it to the saw buck. I need a different screw for these. And then the longer screws go through the top. Oh, maybe I can use those longer ones in here. The brackets are very cheap, but Probably all I need for the legs. I just got to keep them from falling out. Okay, that's one.
here screwed it to the wrong side of the line but otherwise it's pretty pretty stiff what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna tie these legs together put a, a one by across on each side and then put a shelf on that so I have a place to put some of my like potting soil and stuff but I might need to use it for a heater yeah, that's possible. If I put a skirt around the lower part and just put a heater on that lower table, that'll keep, uh, add some heat to this if I need it. But as it is, this is four by four feet and my two inch thick foam, it's uh, extruded polystyrene. Um, that'll sit on top of this and then the heating mats are 48 by 20 So they'll be an inch or so in and but they'll they'll be the entire length. I now have one more of these That my son got me for Christmas, which is pretty cool. So I can use that to uh, To start some Oh, what is it? Purple love grass. I have like a thousand seeds, so I'll get some hundred trays and start as many of those as I can. 
Yeah, this is going to work out nice. So this will be, I'm guessing right, oh, the cat wants to come in. I'm guessing I'm going to put this right in the center. It's, it's really windy out there, and she really does not like the wind. Come check it out, kitty. Pretty nice, huh? Off that wet ground. So this will be like right in the middle here. And the upper part is going to be 4x4 four four as well. It'll be the other half of the polystyrene. And it'll be sandwiched between two layers of wood so I can hang it and it'll have strength. And then the light hangs from that. So it'll it'll be pretty nice. I'm going to have to rearrange everything out here. It's kind of large. This has to get out of here as soon as I'm done. But that'll be it for today. This will move pretty fast. I'm going to cut the styrofoam likely tomorrow and cut the end boards for that. So stick around. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the update icon so you can get notified when we post new stuff. Thanks for watching and have a great day.